Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent sensei consultant with Happily Scented Homes. I am back today because it is like fallness right now. That's F A L L M A S. It's fallness because I feel like all of these vendors are dropping their pre order lists for fall and Christmas. It just literally feels like it's Christmas every time that there's like a launch. And I've been so, 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 so stoked about this fall pre-order for Melting Memories. My girl Veronica launched the list. And you guys, all I have to say is holy smokes. So Melting Memories, if you're not sure who that is, she is a Canadian wax vendor. She's amazing. I love her wax. I call her wax like bougie wax because honestly... She comes up with the most classical, most sophisticated, like, bougie, fancy as fuck sense ever, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so, she did, um, she's going to be doing a fall pre-order. It's actually going to be this Friday, the 23rd. Um, so, we've got, like, five days until the pre-order. So, I wanted to do a quick video because I am really enjoying her wax and I cannot wait to smell some of these and there's one particular blend that I kind of collaborated with her on um, to feature so I'm so excited to talk about that one um, but we'll go ahead and get started because I do actually have a couple of the waxes um, that are going to be available in this pre-order I actually own a couple from the last time that she had a pre-order so I'll um, sniff those when we get to them on the list but if you are not already on our Facebook group, definitely join. I'm on it right here, right now. So Melting Memories. Um, so that's where she pretty much posts like any updates, launches, any information that's going on with her company. And then obviously meltingmemories.ca is her website that you can go to um, to place the order on the 23rd when they preload pre-order launches so let's go ahead and see the list people okay so like I said this will open on this Friday August 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and she I believe she said she's gonna keep the pre-order open until Sunday so it's pretty much gonna be open that whole weekend um, for you to place orders She is also going to have a couple of um, burners available on her website. I believe they're all tea light warmers, um, but there are some fall ones. And she did a previous poll to kind of like let us know like what um, ones that she was interested in getting for the website. So there will be some of those, um, but it's pretty much with the with the uh, tea light warmers that she has. It is going to be, you know, while supplies last on those ones because she only bought a cert a small quantity because um, this is her first time doing like warmers as a pre-order too. Um, but she is going to have two different sizes for the um, scents that are on this list. So you can order them in her regular clamshell, which is 3.2 ounces, which is it breaks it off into eight cubes. Um, that will be $10 US, $12 Canadian, or the Mega Snaps, um, which is her bigger clamshell, um, is 6.8 ounces, and that's $16 US and $20 Canadian. Um, so two different sizes to choose from. And then here's the list, you guys. Like, I don't even know where to start. So we've got Apple S'mores, Macintosh Apple, Torched Marshmallow, Coconut Milk, and Pike's Peak. So... I've never had this one by her before. I do like apple s'mores. I don't care for Sensi's apple s'mores. And I do not believe that this is a dupe of that by any means. And I've never really even smelled Pike's Peak before. So this isn't one that's going to be on my list this time. But I feel like if you like apple s'more scents or if you really dig that Pike's Peak, then this would be something to grab for this pre-order. Autumn Apple Woods, Toasted Chestnuts, Brown Sugar, Caramel, Butter, 
fried donuts, warm apple cider, and sweet cinnamon. Hell freaking yes. Oh my gosh, this is totally on my list. I'm probably just going to get a regular clamshell just to test it out. But I am so digging chestnuts this season for some reason. And anything that's brown sugar, caramel, butter, and I love apple cider. I the, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this one. So this is, a, this is definitely on my list. Autumn Spice Tea. This is another one that is going to be on my list. It's Earl Grey Tea, Lavender, Vanilla, Cranberry Sauce, Apple Jam, and Cinnamon Sticks. I am so excited for Cranberry Sauce and Apple Jam. I don't know why. I just read those two notes and I was like, I've never seen that in a scent description. Like I've never seen anything listed as Apple Jam or cranberry sauce. Like usually you see like white cranberry, tart cranberry, ripe cranberry, sweet cranberry, iced cranberry. But cranberry sauce, like give me some Thanksgiving cranberry sauce. Oh, so I'm like excited because I love winterberry apple tea by Scentsy. And that's an amazing fall tea blend. So I'm really, really excited for this autumn spice tea. Banana frosting. Can Can we just talk about her banana frosting oil for just just a second veronica i don't know how you do it but this is like by far the best banana oil blend that i've ever had in my life um oh my god if you love banana anything her banana frosting is just oh it's to die for um but she is going to be doing a banana frosting and pecan i'm sorry pumpkin pecan crunch so this one has banana, cardamom, nutmeg, cream cheese, pumpkin, maple glazed pecans, and caramel. So, oh my god, that's just that's just an Amy. That's just an Amy bakery bar right there. Um, so I love her banana frosting oil. So I'm totally getting this one because I love banana frosting and I love pumpkin pecan anything. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be picking up this one. Banana frosting and zucchini bread. I love banana frosting and zucchini bread. Oh my God. I picked this up on our last pre-order and I am absolutely in love with it. It is so freaking fantastic. Oh my God. The banana in here is just phenomenal. And the zucchini bread, it just gives it that touch of bakery that it needs, but doesn't overpower the banana. Um, banana frosting and zucchini bread is banana, cardamom, nutmeg, cream cheese, and zucchini bread. If I was to recommend one, I'm probably going to re recommend a couple in here, but one of them would be the banana frosting and zucchini bread. Birch buttercream and pecan. I'm sorry, birch buttercream. I keep saying pecan. Birch buttercream and pumpkin pine cones. Her birch buttercream is freaking amazing. I like um, lavender and speckles bur uh, buttercream, but... Melting Memories is birch buttercream is just phenomenal and such a stunning blend that, ugh, I told her, I was like, if you just take birch buttercream and just mix it with a whole bunch of stuff, I will forever buy it like all day long. Um, birch buttercream and pumpkin pine cones will be her birch buttercream, which is white birch, Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, vanilla buttercream, and coconut, and then mix that with pumpkin pecan waffles and roasted pine cones. I'm so, I'm so excited to try this. Like, I want it now. I like, I want it now so I can warm it now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's definitely going to be on my list. Blackberry Santo Cake. This one, I'm intrigued by it, but I don't know if I'm going to grab it or not. Um, it might be like a wild card one that I might add in my cart last minute, but it's blackberry jam, sugar cookies, Palo Santo, and white cake. It sounds amazing, but blackberry and wax, I don't tend to like blackberry too much. Um, I honestly don't. I think the only blackberry scent that I've actually enjoyed was blackberry meringue by Sensi. So, but I think if you like blackberry and you like sugar cookies and Palo Santo, this would definitely be one for you. And it'd be a good one to have to kind of break up the monogamy of like the apples and the pumpkins and pears and things like that. 
blueberry santo cake i actually purchased this last pre-order and let me tell you you cannot sleep on blueberry santo cake oh my god so i first warmed this well actually it was on cold i smelt it and i'm like oh this isn't what i expected it to be no you cannot go off the cold sniff on this one on warm all i get is jiffy blueberry muffin batter mix like Oh my God, it just brings me back to like childhood making Jiffy blueberry muffins with my mom. Like insane. No idea why it brings me back, but it's just such a good blueberry bakery. So if you're missing blueberry, you like blueberry, you like Palo Santo mixed with bakery, totally going to love that one. Boozy, boozy, bougie, ugh. I can't even talk. Oh my God. Bougie. No, that's not how you say it. Bougie. There we go. Bougie bitch. That's the thing I was trying to say. Oh my God. It's like 1030 at night, guys. Like I just, oh, it was my daughter's birthday party today and I'm like so wired, but tired at the same time, if you can understand that. So bougie bitch is vanilla bourbon, black amber, oak, ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, and warm cookie dough. Oh my God. <laughs> it sounds so good. I am grabbing this one. Bourbon, pumpkin spice, dark maple, aged bourbon, cedarwood, fried dough, cinnamon, and toasted pumpkin spice. Oh, that sounds so good too. I feel like if you like bourbon and you like fall, then totally pick up these bourbon blends. Um, but the toasted pumpkin spice sounds amazing with the maple and the bourbon. And then you get that fried dough for that bakery effect. Oh, gosh. Cashmere smoke. Her cashmere oil. Oh, her cashmere is so good. Cashmere is actually in pine cone cookies, which I really, really love pine cone cookies of hers. Um, but cashmere smoke is cashmere cedar, cashmere cream, marshmallow fireside, and smoky woods. That sounds like bougie all the way like oh my gosh churro and buttercream i've never had her churro which is one of her signature scents um but churro and buttercream is going to be churro white cake and buttercream so i think that will be a really really good one on um, like a decadent gourmand type of um, bakery cider cookies is mold apple cider cedar oak cinnamon and sugar cookie Cozy Cabin is Roasted Pine Cones, Dark Amber, Rosewood, and Palo Santo. Cozy Cabin might be on my wild card. I'll add it to cart if I'm feeling FOMO um, because I love Rosewood. I'm iffy on amber. I tend to like white amber over other types of amber. But pine cones and Palo Santo, you can't go wrong with that combination. So I'm just curious on what the rosewood and the amber is going to do mixed with the pine cones and the Palo Santo. So that might be a wild card that I throw in. I'm not sure yet. I've got a couple that I starred as like wild cards that I might, you know, add last minute. Cinnamon pumpkin swirl is toasted pumpkin spice, snickerdoodle, cinnamon buns, and whipped cream. Mm, oh gosh. All these bakery choices. I'm telling you, she's not making it easy, folks. She really is not making it easy to come up with a list that's, like, logical. <laughs> and not, like, unhinged crazy. Like, oh my gosh. Ugh, my credit card statement's gonna hate me later. I know it. Cozy Sweaters is Sweater Weather body uh, Bath and Body Works type. Crackling Donuts is Glazed Donuts, Crackling Woods, and Amber. Sounds nice. Sounds like a really good bakery, woodsy, fiery type of scent. Creamy Pear and Bourbon Butterscotch. This one sounds so good. Juicy Pear, Cream, Bourbon Butterscotch, Sugared Vanilla Waffle Cone, and Sweet Cinnamon. Like waffle cone, her waffle cone is so good. Oh my gosh. And then the bourbon butterscotch, like I didn't even think that that could be a scent description like in wax. And now that I'm thinking about it, oh my gosh, that's going to smell so good. Dutch Dreams, this is Stroop Waffle, Madagascar Vanilla Bean, Amber, Cashmere Woods, and 
Is that supposed to be citrus? And a hint of smoke? I don't think there's something called cystus. That might be a typo. I think it says citrus and a hint of smoke. Oh, see, the, the, all of these sound amazing. Farmhouse pear. I am picking this one up. Um, this one's sugared pears, apples, nutmeg, cinnamon, fried donuts, and warm cider. I think this is just going to bring me right to the apple orchard with the sugared pears and the apples and the spice with the fried donuts and the cider. Like, I think it's just going to bring me right to the apple orchard where we go every year to do all of our fall activities. Foggy Morning is her London Fog mixed with Palo Santo and Donut Shop. So, hello. Yes. <laughs> Fireside cookies, sugar cookies, Palo Santo, and marshmallow fireside. So if you like marshmallow fireside, Palo Santo, with that bakery element of the sugar cookies, I would definitely recommend that one. Uh, let's see. Golden pecan crumble, pecan pie, whipped cream, creamy butter, crust, cedar leaf, and a charred oak hint of pumpkin. These sound so fantastic. Like, I'm rethinking my list now. Like, I think I need to add Golden Pecan Crumble. Oh, do you know how many edits I'm probably going to end up with over the, over the next five days? I'm probably going to edit this list, like, once, twice, thrice. Like, <laughs> oh, man. I've already done, like, four edits already. And she just posted this list, like, what? It was like, what, 10, 11 o'clock this morning? Oh, I'm in trouble. Hi. Hi. No, hi. No, no, no. Talk right, Amy. Hay rides in October. Toasted walnut, sweet hay, autumn breeze, golden leaves, caramelized apples, and kettle corn. Freaking kettle corn. They have that in oil. Oh, my God. Kettle corn is like my favorite popcorn flavor ever. And toasted walnut. Oh, this is going to be like. Hay rides. But like hay rides on like bakery crack. Like. Oh my gosh. That's. I'm definitely adding that one to my list. Halloween Town. This one. As soon as I saw the names of like the different movies. I was like. Oh yes. 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 Because I love me Halloween Town, the whole entire series. I've watched it, I don't know how many times. It's torched marshmallow, toasted pumpkin spice, crisp fall air, cedar wood, and dried autumn leaves. So, definitely is something up my alley. Hocus Pocus, marshmallow fluff, fig, black plum, autumn leaves, dark patchouli, and then her delicia, I probably said that wrong, which is sugared violets, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood. That one sounds amazing, too. Ice pumpkin cookies, pumpkin, buttercream, cinnamon, nutmeg, almond cookies, and a warm, sugary glaze. Uh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Anything pumpkin, I swear. I'm probably going to put it on my list. Lavender campfire, lavender marshmallows, cashmere cream, bonfire bliss, torched marshmallow, and vanilla balsam. Oh, that vanilla balsam is making me want to add this to my list. Her marshmallow balsam was fantastic that she had last pre-order. I'm hoping that she brings it back for the Christmas pre-order. But this lavender campfire sounds really, really good. Oatmeal for breakfast. Sweet cinnamon, vanilla, buttercream, milk, and warm oatmeal. Mocha Malo. You chocolate coffee fans, this is going to be the one for you. Chocolate espresso and marshmallow fireside. Who can go wrong with that? Who can go wrong? This one right here, Muskoka Woods. I probably said that wrong. Correct me if I did say that wrong, Veronica. Um, this one I read the scent description and I had to add it to my list. I don't know why, but this sounds so good to me. Vanilla Balsam, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside, Crackling Woods, and Amber. And I know I don't like Amber, but I think the Vanilla Balsam with the Palo Santo and then that marshmallowy Sweet Fireside with the Crackling Woods, I think it's just going to be an amazing blend, and I definitely want to try it. Um, let's see. Same thing with Northern Comfort. That one's Sweet Maple Syrup, 
toasted marshmallow, smooth vanilla, and rich notes of cedar. Um, yes, 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 yes. I have been wanting more maple like fragrances lately. I feel like last year we didn't get much in maple. The year before we did get a lot of maple. Um, with Sensi I'm talking about. Like in 2022, um, we had like a holiday collection and it had um maple rum cake and then we had a harvest no harvest collection the maple rum cake came out and then holiday we had maple vanilla glaze or maple glazed vanilla I can't remember what the word combination was on that one but then last year we didn't get much maple I think you know that was like an oil that they didn't even bother with last year so the fact that she has a whole bunch of these like blends with maple in it is like screaming for me to like buy it like now. Um, so I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Peach cobbler pie. She has posted peach cobbler. Um, Oh, I can't remember. I know there's a lot of people that are on the Facebook group that have been talking about her peach cobbler. Um, so this one's peach pie filling golden flaky crust, rich butter and gooey rolls, cinnamon, caramelized sugar with a hint of frosting. So if I liked peach scents in bakery, I would totally pick this one up, but I'm not someone that likes peach in bakery. I'm more of like a peach floral type of person. So I'm going to pass on this one, but I feel like if you love peach and you love peach bakery, this should definitely be on your list. Pine cone cookies, pine cone cookies i need all the pine cone cookies like i need a mega 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 snap of pine cone cookies roasted pine cone sugar cookie and cashmere cream the cashmere cream and pine cone cookies just elevates this fragrance to a whole like fifth dimension if i could recommend any scent off this list it would be pine cone cookies do not sleep on the pine cone cookies. You have to add it to your cart. It's so good. Pistachio Woods is Nutty Pistachio, Smooth Vanilla, Cardamom, Patchouli, Cedarwood, Moss, Amber, and Sandalwood. A lot going on with that one, but it's got a lot of those really good woody notes, like with the patchouli and the cedar wood and moss. I really do like moss in fragrance, so I think this one's really going to be good. It's going to be like a good, fresh like woodsy um type of scent plum moscato and creamy cashmere it's her plum moscato with cashmere cream and cashmere cedar that just sounds like a throw blanket like made of cashmere just wrapped like all over you like a snug bug in a rug Ugh. pumpkin butter crunch i am totally getting this one um, gooey rolls, cinnamon, caramelized sugar, frosting, maple glazed pecans, caramel, and pumpkin with hin hints of rich butter. Are you freaking kidding me? That's going to be like decadent, put me in a diabetic coma type of sign. Like, I am all for it. Pumpkin fluff. Oh my god. Pumpkin freaking fluff. I got this last pre-order. Oh my god. Do you want to say, bring me back to a childhood core memory unlocked here? Um, pumpkin fluff is beach nights, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. You definitely get the beach nights, so I feel like if you do like beach nights and you do like marshmallow and pumpkin, you'll really enjoy this one. But on warm, I instantly, it just, for some reason, it reminded me of Fluffernutter sandwiches that I made when I was a kid here in New England. And Fluffernutter, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically just marshmallow fluff in a jar, and you would just put it on like white bread with peanut butter. And we called it a fluffernutter. I love pumpkin fluff. I'm getting a mega snap of pu pumpkin fluff. So that I just have a whole bunch. Rain Kiss Leaves. This one I am so intrigued by. This is a wild card for me. Because I don't think I would have picked it up on its own. But the way that Veronica talked it up. I so want to try it. So it's smoldering embers. Bonfire smoke. Sugared leaves. Autumn air, cool breeze, sweet palm trees, and an earthy aroma of wet dirt. 
and I love dirt and wax. I know I'm weird. I'm one of the few ones that loves thunderstorm and even Southern evening by Sensi has kind of like a dirt earthy quality to it. But this rain kiss leaves, this sounds like it's going to be like one of those ones that you want to warm, like in your bedroom on a nice fall night. Salted pretzels and churros. Salted pretzel, churros, caramel, maple swirl, and sugar cookie. I haven't tried pretzel blends before yet in wax. So I think I'm probably going to pass on the pretzel blends this time around. But I feel like if you like pretzel, you should definitely pick it up. Um, salted pretzels and mac apple is salted pretzels, candy corn, mac apple, and sugar cookie. That sounds really good. Smoked cookies is smoky woods, cashmere cedar, and sugar cookies. Spiced pistachio cake is creamy pistachio, warm milk, glazed donuts, creamy vanilla, caramel, hazelnut, fried dough, and brown sugar. That sounds really good. I wonder if her pistachio, like that creamy pistachio that's in here, does it, if it leans cherry, that would be even better. Um, but I wonder if it does read, read cherry. Now the next one, Sweet Fig and Palo. This is a sign that me and Veronica came up with because I was talking to her and I was like, listen, I feel like Fig gets the back door when it comes to fall. I feel like vendors and Scentsy, they have their typical, you know, apple scents, pumpkin, pear, cider, you know, cranberry like those are the go-tos for fall I feel like fig and even plum like they just get ignored and it's not like a scent that is like featured it's more of like in the background if they do add that oil into it but I never see it as like the the, the main lineup you know what I mean um, so we were talking up the different oils that she had, and then there was this particular oil that she found, and I said that would be really, really good. Like, fig would be really, really good mixed with a buttercream to add, like, a bakery element to it, but then that Palo Santo. So we came up with Sweet Fig and Palo, which is brown sugar fig, buttercream, and Palo Santo. I am so excited to try this. I'm getting a mega snap because I love fig. Fig is probably like my favorite fall fruit in wax. Um, probably the next one would be pumpkin after that. Um, but I really, really love fig. Midnight Fig by Scentsy is like one of my favorite figs, hands down. Love that fragrance. Never will be without it. I will warm it year round, all the time. Don't matter. Um, so I'm super, super excited to try that one. And then this one, this must be another typo she did. I don't know. It says Fee Chai Latte, but I wonder if, I wonder if it's supposed to say three Chai Latte. Um, chai tea, nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, citrus zest, maple syrup, vanilla bean, brown sugar, and buttermilk. That sounds freaking fantastic. I love Sensi's Cozy Chai. I don't have it clubbed, but I did buy like 14 bars of it when it was in a flash sale. I'm down to like eight or nine, I think now. Um, so this one's kind of like on my FOMO list. Like I, I need it, but I don't need it, need it over the other ones on the list. So I'll probably put it on my FOMO just in case I want to add it last minute, but I don't think it will make the cut. And then last but not least, we have woodland chestnut, roasted chestnut, cedar, sandalwood, warm cookie dough, butter, cinnamon, and a hint of caramel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've been loving chestnut lately and since these cherry chestnut is like beginning to be one of my favorites and it might even, it might even kick out one of my, um, scents in my club that I've had in there for a long time. Let's just say that. But I'm like really digging chestnut, so I definitely want to grab some more of Veronica's chestnut. So this is the pre-order, you guys. Like I said, I would definitely join the Facebook page, you know, take a screenshot of the list, go over it the next couple of days, look at your stock, see what you're missing, see what blends of hers that you would like to grab from this list. 
I honestly think this is such a great list. It's not super like heavy on the quantity of blends because I feel like some vendors with their pre-orders, they just like give you over a hundred different like fragrances to choose from. And I feel like sometimes it's so hard to not feel FOMO when the list is that large and you feel like you have to have one of everything. But with this list, I feel like it is doable. It's manageable. It's not overwhelming to the vendor. It's not overwhelming to the consumer. And I feel like there's such a great variety in here. You've got some great like woody blends. You've got some amazing bakery. You've got like the, you know, the sultry scents in here, the embery, you know, smoky ones. Like I feel like there's something in here for everybody. I feel like anybody that orders is going to find something that they absolutely love from her. So as of right now on my list, and like I said, this is like edit number four I've done. Um, I have autumn apple woods, autumn spice tea, banana frosting and pumpkin pecan crunch, banana frosting and zucchini bread, birch buttercream and pumpkin pine cones, blueberry santo cake, Bougie Bitch, Farmhouse Pear, Hay Rides in October, Halloween Town, Muskoka Woods, Northern Woods, Pinecone Cookies, Pumpkin Butter Crunch, Pumpkin Fluff, Rain Kiss Leaves, Sweet Fig and Palo, and Woodland Chestnut. And then the ones I'm getting in the Mega Snaps are Sweet Fig and Palo, Pinecone Cookies, Blueberry Santo cake. Oh, wait, no, hold on. No, 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 I, I screwed that up. So the ones I'm getting in Mega Snaps are Sweet Fig and Palo, Pine Cone Cookies, and Banana Frosting and Zucchini Bread. Those are the three I'm going to get in Mega Snaps. And then the rest of them are just going to be the 3.2 ounce clamshells. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that, you know, Melty Memories, it is a newer vendor. She's only been in business for over, I think, a year. Um, so she hasn't been in it as long as other vendors that are talked about a lot on the YouTube channel and the different socials. But I definitely wanted to do a video because not only is she, like, one of my really good friends that I talk to here on YouTube, but her wax is really phenomenal. I do enjoy it. She's my second vendor that I've tried for wax and I absolutely love her blends. Um, I feel like hers is like the most I've been excited for. Cause like I said, in the beginning of the video, her blends are so good and fancy and sophisticated and they just have depth and more complex, like note profiles than like other ones that I've seen. Um, so I'm really excited. Still have another five days to mull over my list and make changes and things like that. I do have a budget, but I figure I knew this pre-order was happening. So I knew I was done with lavender and speckles for 2024. I did the July pre-order and I'm done for the year with lavender and speckles. I bought 25 blends off of that pre-order. So those will be coming to me sometime the end of September. Um, so I'm pretty much done with lavender and speckles for the year. I'll probably end up doing like a pre-order for her come the new year, probably around like February or like March or something like that. And then with melting memories after this pre-order, I'll take a look and see what she has for Christmas. I think the only one, the, I think the only thing I'd probably go in on Christmas for would be her marshmallow balsam and maybe some cranberry blends if she does any. Um, but other than that, I think I'm pretty much after this pre-order and that's why I'm going freaking crazy on it because I'm going to be unhinged here. I'm not, there, there's no budget. I mean, there's a budget, but there's no budget. Like I, I'm going unhinged because I know it's my last vendor order for the year. So I, I'm going to spend some money. Like I said, I told her, I was like, you could just have my money. I'm just going to like direct deposit my paycheck into your account. And then you just, you know, just pay for my wax that way. Like it, it's insane. But I hope you guys liked the video. I'm a little bit chatty, but I'm tired, but I'm not tired. And I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. So let me know in the comment section 
if you guys are going in on this pre-order and if you are what scents are the most that you're looking forward to get are there any here on the list that you've already tried before i know there's a couple on here that she's had before in the past um but i'd love to hear your thoughts and happy pre-order see you guys later bye